What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, quick little exercise, easy tutorial, but little bass finger and some opens going on over here. Great exercise that I think that you're gonna love. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, hit that like button, man. It really does help this channel out, spread the word. And to all my day ones, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, man. Just being patient, me making these videos, man. But for today's video, I just uh, was practicing and decided to kind of share uh, this little exercise that I think is kind of a tongue twister, but at the same time really is going to help develop your independence and also at the same time kind of help you internalize the glove a little bit. But let me show you the exercise, then we're going to break it down. Yeah, it's about to get intense up in here. Man, I miss these tutorials, man, especially these kind of little things that are really going to help you develop your play. But yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. So I first start this exercise with two opens with my dominant hand on the tumba. But I'm also going to start to initiate what I'm going to do with my non-dominant hand. Now, to let you know, my non-dominant hand is only doing a bass and finger. That's the only thing it's doing. It's the only thing it's really focusing on. So I would suggest, especially to start warming up, just start doing bass finger, bass finger, and try to do it with a tempo, making that bass kind of your downbeat. So it's gonna sound like this. So when I start this, I'm already thinking about that, that this hand is not going to do anything but that. So bass finger the whole time. So when I start this exercise, I'm actually going to start doing with two opens. But the first open is going to be by itself. The second open is going to be accompanied by the first bass that I'm going to do, which is going to be essentially the one of the exercise if we're going to put it in that sense. So it's going to sound like this. After doing that is when we're going to start with our movement with our, you know, finger base finger kind of movement. But look what happens here. After doing that first base, I'm going to do a finger with my non-dominant hand, then a close slap with my dominant hand on the tumba, and then a base to uh, kind of, again, continue that movement. So it's going to sound like this. So to put that together, it's going to sound like this. Now, essentially, to then do the next hit, we're kind of going to do the same movement. So it's going to be another finger close slap bass, and that's actually going to be the first hit on the three side of the clave, which is on the two, three clave. So it's going to sound like this. So to put that together, it's going to sound like this. Now, 
And then essentially to finish the whole pattern, what you're actually gonna do is at the same time, you're going to do a close slap with your dominant hand on the tumba and a finger with your non-dominant hand on the conga. And then, since we're going to the base, you do another close slap with your dominant hand on the tumba, you know, with that base. And then, as well, to then be able to transition to the next part, you're gonna go back to doing a finger, which then takes you to those two opens that you're gonna land again. So, yeah, to kind of hear that part, it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, that's basically it. But again, like any exercise, the hard part is to keep on going keep on doing that exercise and making it kind of your own add a little bit of feel to it add a little bit more doo, doo you know more dynamic to those opens and even the close slaps to make it more feeling but yeah to play it all the way through it's gonna sound like this Again, have fun with it, man. Make it your own. It's the point of the exercise. But first, establish that feel to then kind of mess with the opens and replace the closed slaps to do something else. But yeah, to play it slowly and count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One. All right, y'all, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a very, very simple exercise. If you have your base finger movement down, this should be pretty simple. But first, establish that, build that. Kind of make make it make it your strong suit, man, because it's gonna really help you develop your independence and as well as your tone, specifically on your dominant hand and even your non-dominant hand. Get those bass nice and crisp. But yeah, you gotta love it. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.